Obviously, the top priority is protecting people's lives, so the health care restrictions are completely appropriate and understandable. But they've unleashed a tremendously negative economic consequence for the state. Tens of thousands of small businesses have closed their doors, laid off all their employees. We have record high unemployment filings, new claims. I mean, we're talking quarter of a million Marylanders who are applying for the first time for unemployment. I can't even imagine the emotional damage, economic, that economic damage of losing a job represents for them. It's on top of the anxiety about the health care issues. So this is a double whammy. I see that there are some uh, due dates or uh, deadlines that have been extended. Is there anything you wanted to add in regards to that? Yes, in order to alleviate in a small way uh, the burden of paying your taxes, I have declared a tax holiday for the state of Maryland. Companies, individuals, businesses do not have to file their April 15th tax returns and send us money. They can wait until July 15th. It's a 90-day interest-free loan from uh, the state of Maryland. And uh, we're doing that because we need to make sure that people have enough cash reserves to take care of their families, to take care of, if possible, their small business, uh, without adding to it, uh, you know, a completely depleted uh, checking account and, and a savings account. So we've moved, the, we've got a 90-day uh, tax holiday, I guess I call it, and uh, we're doing that along with lifting the monthly uh, taxes and fees that are due by uh, simply saying, look, you don't have to file any of those. We're not going to penalize you. We're not going to add interest. Wait until June 1st uh, before you pay us what you owe us on those monthly taxes. And uh, on June 1st, we're probably going to assess that because the economic activity of the state has basically been uh, sharply reduced and people just don't have revenue coming in. And a lot of people are unemployed. Got it. Thank you so much for that. Is there anything else you'd like to add that you want the public to know? Well, other than that, we have their back. Uh, comptroller's office is not the IRS, so we're not certainly going to be pursuing people. We're doing everything possible to get refunds back. We've sent almost $3 billion in tax refunds recently. Uh, we're now going to switch to, uh, after April 15th, to just dealing with uh, paper returns. So there'll be a bit of a delay if you waited this long to get a refund. For those folks who owe us money, I'm suggesting that they wait until July 15th and make sure that they have enough cash reserves to ride out the uh, living in place or staying in place, uh, very appropriate health restrictions.